Hello students today i am here with you taking my second video on tense in my first video i had discussed about introduction of tense types of tenses personal pronouns and singular plural nouns and also present tense now in this video we will discuss about past tense and future tense so let's start the discussion the first type of past tense is simple past tense which is also called past indefinite tense dear students simple past tense or past indefinite tense tells us about our past habits what we did in past for representing this tense we always use second form of verb which is represented by v2 let's see the example i eight mango dear students here a t e eight is the past tense of eat right and we have used eight to show our past habits if you remember i have told you that in simple present tense we write our habits right so definitely that habits would be present habits suppose i am telling you to write your daily routine so in which tense you will write your daily routine in simple present tense okay now suppose i tell you to write your yesterday's routine means suppose today is saturday and i tell you to write your routine of friday what you did in friday so your routine will come in which tense simple past tense right and if you have to tell me your yesterday's routine or your past routine you will use simple past tense and how will you write your routine using second form of verb see you would start like this i woke up at 6 o'clock then i brushed my teeth after that i had my breakfast dear students in these sentences woke brushed and had are v2 forms of wake brush and have respectively okay so students you might have understood that if you have to write the sentence in simple past tense you have to use second form of verb simple past tense is the tense which is mostly used by we people right usually we talk about past events when you are in school you tell your friends about what you did at home here did is past tense of do when you are at home there also you discuss about your school with your parents you tell your parents that you did this you did that you played you had lunch you studied so here what studied played or had are 
V2 forms. Right? These are the second form of verbs. Okay? Now let's see second sub tense of past tense. That is past progressive tense. Which is also called past continuous tense. Dear students, this tense tells us that the work was going on in past tense. In this tense, we use was or were plus v1 ing. Right? We use ing form in v1. And here ing refers to continuity of any work. It suggests us that the work is continued. But is, are or was, were decide that it is present tense or past tense. Right? If suppose is or are is added, you have already studied, that will be present tense. But if was or were is there before V1 ING, then you have to understand that this is past tense. Right? And especially in past, past progressive tense. Right? Let's see the examples. I was eating mango. Right? So, was eating suggests us that the eating work was going on in past tense. Right? In second sentence, he was eating mango. If we use third person, that is he, we have to use was with it. And suppose if we use they in subject place, which is third person plural, then we will have to use were with it. Okay? To represent past continuous tense. Now, let's see past perfect tense. Past perfect tense is the tense that tells us that the work was completed in past. Right? Like when we studied present perfect tense, what was it telling us? That the work is completed. But past perfect tense will tell us that the work was completed in past tense. The verb syntax of past perfect is had plus v3. Here v3 means third form of verb. Dear students, always remember that whenever we use has, have or had as supporting verbs, we always use third form of verb that means v3. Now let's see the examples. First example is I had eaten mango. Here had eaten suggests us that the eating work of mango was finished in past tense. Right? See second example. He had eaten mango which means that his eating work of mango was finished in past tense. Dear students, in past perfect tense, whether you use first person I, V, second person you, third person he, she, it, they, any singular noun or any plural noun,
we always use had with these personal pronouns or nouns right now let's see fourth example that is past perfect continuous tense this tense tells us that the work which was started in some past time continued for some time and finished in another past it means for some period of time the work continued but it finished in past tense only it did not come in present tense in this tense we use had been plus v1 ing let's see the examples i had been eating mango since morning here what do you understand that the eating work of mango was started in the morning it continued for some time and it finished before the present time only right the work started in past in the morning it was going on and after some time it got finished now we are not doing this work understand second example is he had been eating mango since morning right means someone any boy was there and he started eating mango from the morning and he was eating 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 and after some time his eating work was finished right so remember whether we use i we you he or any personal pronoun we have to use had been plus v1 ing only right so this was past tense now let's see future tense first sub tense of future tense is simple future which is also called future indefinite tense dear students this tense tells us about future habits the habits which we think that will be done in future tense in this tense which verb syntax we use we use will or shall plus v1 means as supporting verb either we have to use will or shall but always we have to use first form of verb with them dear students always remember this is a rule that with will and shall we have to use v1 only okay first form of verb and always remember one more fact that shall represents future tense with first person pronouns i and v and will represents future tense with you he she it they and all names it means only with i and v we have to use shall to represent future and with rest of the personal pronouns and all nouns we have to use will to represent future tense now let's see the examples first example is i shall eat mango and the second example is he will eat mango here in first sentence i is there in subject place which is first person pronoun and that's why we have used shall with it to represent simple future 
here this sentence suggests us that i think that in future i will have a habit to eat mango and in second sentence he is used which is third person pronoun and that's why to represent simple future tense we have used will and this sentence suggests us that he will have a habit to eat mango in future tense now second sub tense is future progressive which is also called future continuous tense dear students this tense tells us that the work will be going on in future the work will be continued in future in this tense we use will shall plus be b plus v1 ing dear students always remember because it is future continuous tense and here because of future we are using will shall and because will shall is coming that's why we are using be b which means first form of verb as i told you earlier that this is rule that with will shall we directly use first form of verb we cannot use any other form of verb directly and because it is continuous also future continuous right so because continuous word is coming that's why v1 plus ing will also come let's see the examples i shall be eating mango it means that in future tense the eating work of mango will be going on and because i is there that's why we have used shall as i told you with first person we use shall to represent future second example is he will be eating mango it means that in future tense his eating work of mango will be continued will be going on now let's see third sub tense that is future perfect tense this tense tells us that the work will be finished in future right future tense we have not seen but we expect this that this work will be finished in future right verb syntax is will shall plus have plus v3 dear students remember because it is future tense that's why will or shall will come and because will or shall is there that's why we have have which is representing first form of verb and it is also representing perfect tense and because have is there remember we have third form of verb here because this is rule that with has or have or had we always use third form of verb right now let's see the examples i shall have eaten mango it means this is expected that in future the eating work of mango will be finished right and shall is used because first person is there in subject place right second example is he will have eaten mango here this is expected that in future he will finish his work of eating mango right now let's see the last sub tense of future that is future perfect continuous tense this tense 
tells us that the walk which was started in past is continued and will be going on in future okay so it means that the walk is started in past then it continued for some time it was going on and today also it is going on and it is expected that in future also the walk will be going on okay the verb syntax of this tense is will or shall plus have plus been plus v1 ing right let's see the examples i shall have been eating mango since morning which means that i started eating mango from morning then i was eating the mango only whole day and i think that after this also eating walk of mango will be going on right second example is he will have been eating mango since morning here he started eating mango from the morning he continued that for some hours in present also it is going on and he thinks that now in future also he will be eating mango only whole day he will be eating mango only right so because the work is started in past and now also going on in future also it will be going on that's why we are saying he will have been eating mango since morning right so now here we finished the discussion over tense as all the types we have discussed i hope you all have understood dear students if you want to become perfect in tense the basic thing to learn is verb forms conjugation of verbs right if you are not perfect in verb forms you cannot get success in it so this is my suggestion before studying the tenses or doing the practice of this chapter you first learn the verb forms make a habit to learn the verb forms daily and then study the verb syntax and try to solve the other examples okay thank you very much for listening me bye bye